this is my wood gasifier or biomass fuel reactor whatever you want to call it the area here will be the reaction area on the bottom end of that little drum that is uh, attached to the lid I will be placing a mobile home wheel here that still needs a larger hole than that I'm gonna help the choke or the uh, what they call it uh, a throat will be adjustable by whatever size stainless steel washer you put in there with a stainless steel screen above it needs that in order to withstand the heat involved with making wood gas or sin gas I suppose anyway anyway here's the top of what will be on the driver's side the top of what will be on the passenger side this side will be tailgate this is the base add six inches three compartments one for a clean out for the gasifier one for a uh, condensate tank below the filter and between the two I will have a cyclone made from this piece of pipe here cyclone separator to make sure the ash and particles do not get into the uh, uh, radiator which will be coiled back and forth it'll be up and down I believe that I'm going to build out of a thin wall tubing for cooling the gas down before it gets to my filter and the radiator will drain into the base notice the base the gap here all this between here and here will be two feet from here to there four feet and it's about 36 inches from here to the plate here so add six inches that's uh, three and a half feet plus uh, anything off the top of these we'll make it roughly four feet so it'll be four feet tall four feet wide and two feet across with radiator and everything all in one unit. I don't have a TIG rig and this metal here is pretty thin so I'm going to go to an uncle that's got a shop has a lot of nice tools like TIG rigs and uh, all kinds of shearing machines and everything else He's real good at uh, welding thin metals. Builds headers and roll cages for race cars and body does body work on them. Uh, floor panels and stuff, whatever for uh, putting the huge racing slicks and stuff like that on old cars. Real good at it. Anyway, reactionary, reaction uh, zone is right here. Filtration zone, there'll be a plate underneath the uh, filter I'm going to make out of that drum full of hay that will separate it'll drain all the liquids into the bottom compartments I will have below at some point uh, ash bin below the cyclone air separator particle separator and uh, like I say need an ash zone below the reactor to catch the ash from uh, the bio material Updates will come. I'm going to document this thing all the way through. I think for a two foot deep from cab to tailgate, four foot tall, it'll barely reach above the cab, and four foot wide, I will be able to put it in the old classic 1975 Chevy pickup, or on the back of my Dodge one ton. Uh, or, like I said, if I change out the stainless steel throating in the bottom of the reactor, I can uh, still produce 
the temperatures I need for gas to run a say a small generator, say a 5,000 watt uh, generator. And that's the point. Make something universal. It's uh, maintainable. Uh, all in one unit. Pop a couple of fittings loose and lift it out of the back of one truck, put it in another, put it on a piece of farm equipment, or uh, I've got a digger derrick, uh, Vermeer trencher, big uh, M440 Vermeer trencher. It's got a backhoe in the front. It'd be nice to uh, be able to run that thing on wood. Or dead cats. Hi, guys. Yep. Like uh, Mr. Wayne says, driveonwood.com. Even a dead cat will get you four or five miles down the road. <laughs> anyway, in a pinch. But that's my gasifier. It's coming along pretty quick. I move slow, so it will be nice. More to come later. Thank you.